Let's start by addressing a common dilemma among gamers. Is it smarter to go for an older flagship GPU or to invest in a current gen model? The answer can save you both time and money. This is a dilemma that has faced some of us in the past. Should I get an older flagship GPU for cheap in the used market? Or do you just fork out some more cash and opt for something recent? Take the GTX 1080 Ti for example versus an RTX 4060. The Pascal Legend needs no introduction since it's still powerful enough to run most games to date and it's cheaper on the used market and comes with more VRAM while the RTX 4060 is stuck on 8GB and is an actual downgrade from its predecessor, the RTX 3060 that has 12GB of VRAM. But the one thing to remember is that it's 2024 and it's been 7 years since the release of the GTX 1080 Ti, so a lot has changed. There are new rendering technologies and anti-aliasing has come a long way since 2017, with some games like Alan Wake 2 requiring mesh shaders to run well, making it an unplayable experience to use anything below an RTX 20 series to run the game. Not to mention, the RTX 4060 is more efficient and runs cooler and better due to the newer architecture and will fare well in modern titles than the older flagship. So, now you've made a decision between an older and newer model. But hold on, let's delve deeper into the comparisons. Do the specs really tell the whole story? When you compare an RTX 4060 with an RTX 3060, the numbers aren't exactly representative of real-world render performance as you would expect. The RTX 3060 has 28 SMs while the 4060 has 24 SMs. Not only that, but the 3060 has more CUDA cores at 3584 while the 4060 has only 3072. The 3060 has more ray tracing cores and more tensor cores and a wider memory bus of 192 versus the 128 on the 4060. However, all of these specs would have you believe the 3060 will outperform the 4060, but that isn't the case at all. Due to the improvements made in architecture, we get higher clocks on the 4060 and a larger L2 cache of 24MB that all add up to a 19% performance uplift that gives the 4060 the lead when it comes to in-game performance. So ensure to do your research and watch some benchmarks before assuming the numbers will always add up to performance since that isn't always the case since improvements in architecture. As we push forward, let's touch on the exciting future of computer graphics and how the latest GPUs are set to revolutionize gaming experiences. Well, you can't do that without artificial intelligence. And the reason for that is because we're generating most of the pixels using, pixels using our tensor cores. So we ray trace only the pixels we need and we generate using artificial intelligence all of the other pixels we have. As a result, the amount of the energy efficiency is just off the charts. The future of computer graphics is neural rendering, the fusion of artificial intelligence and computer graphics. And what's really amazing is, oh, here we go. Thank you. This is a surprisingly kinetic keynote. And, and uh, what's really amazing is the family of GPUs we're going to put in here. And so the 5090, the 5090, will fit into a laptop, a thin laptop. That last laptop was 14.9 14, 14 millimeters. You got a 5080, 5070 Ti, and 5070. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, the RTX Blackwell family. Now let's look at why you should embrace modern technology and avoid the pitfalls of nostalgia. It could mean the difference between good and incredible performance. Nostalgia has to remain in the past, so if you're looking to get a GPU, make sure you get something modern that supports the latest technologies as this will give you better performance and better efficiency than an older card would. Finally, let's wrap it all up by addressing what truly matters when investing in a GPU. Your performance expectations are only as good as your last minute research. It is literally this big. The voltage regular design is state of the art, incredible design. The engineering team did a great job. So here it is. Thank you. Okay, so those are the speeds and feeds. So how does it compare? Well, this is RTX 4090. I know, I know many of you have one. I know it. 
Look, it's $1,599. It is one of the best investments you could possibly make. You, for $1,599, you bring it home to your $10,000 PC Entertainment Command Center. Isn't that right? Don't tell me that's not true. Don't be ashamed. It's liquid-cooled. Fancy lights all over it. You lock it when you leave. It's, it's the modern home theater. It makes perfect sense. And now for $1,599, $1599, you get to upgrade that and turbocharge the living daylights out of it. Well, now with the Blackwell family, RTX 5070, 4090 performance at 549. Impossible without artificial intelligence. Impossible without the four tops, four teraops of AI tensor. In the end, whether you're chasing after the latest models or considering that nostalgic classic, remember that the best graphics card for you is the one that meets your performance needs today without breaking the bank. Stay informed and game on.